Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. Evening, ladies and gentlemen, Joe at Jonas Cigars back for another review, and we're featuring a cigar that I have been wanting to review for quite a long time, and that we have finally gotten enough uh, votes from the fans to put it on the channel, and that is the Rocky Patel Disciple, and we are going to be smoking the Toro, which is a 6x52, fairly standard Toro Vitola. Straight Parejo stick, featuring a really beautiful bronze gold, rose gold sort of band there just gorgeous metallic sheen and then we have the secondary band down here which Drew or uh, Rocky Patel has been utilizing quite a bit uh, you take the sleeve band off and you have just a very very handsome slightly modeled slightly veiny looking Mexican San Andres wrapper it's got a little bit of knobbiness to it but a good sheen pretty standard looking double cap over the top as you can see from the foot, it's got a slightly uneven roll, but it looks pretty good. Nice looking pack. Feels like a fairly medium firm pack. Pre-light aromas. Mmm. We've got a rich hazelnut earth, milk chocolate and cocoa off of the body. And off of the foot, ooh, that is just like a fresh baked chocolate cake. Love that. That is fantastic. Blend on this one. One of my favorite sort of blends, Nicaraguan long fillers and binder with a Mexican San Andres wrapper over the outside. Uh, this ha these are produced in Rocky Patel's factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, which I believe is called the Tabacalera Via Cuba SA. Uh, let's go ahead and get it cut, toasted, see what we can find out. Cold draws feels very relaxed. A lot more of those chocolate cake sort of notes. Little bits of leather, slight notes of raisin, but it's very subtle. Maybe some bits of black pepper in there, but that chocolate cake is really pronounced and I really do like it. All right, let's go ahead and start toasting it up. Ooh, lots of smoke, very relaxed draw. Medium full bodied, not particularly oily. Um, there's a thickness to the smoke texture, but I wouldn't call it chewy. It's just got a lot of, it's more meaty feeling. Not sure if I've ever used that descriptor before. It's got a meaty feel to it. Retro Hill is very smooth. Got a little bit of black pepper in there. A nice balanced earth with a little bit of minerality. A dry cocoa powder with a pretty good sweetness level to it. Flavors on the draw. Hmm. Definite dark chocolate, dry cocoa powder, a very pronounced earth. And again, that earthy sweetness is coming through and it's a really pleasant earthy flavor. Definitely getting some black pepper. Hmm. Some sort of nuttiness coming through. I want to say a hazelnut, but it's a little vague at this point. And definitely a finish of like a very dark roast, French roast sort of coffee. All right. Very good start. Like the way this one is smoking already. Great draw, great smoke output. Catch up with you as I get a little further into the first third. See you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Got a very, very nice looking burn line. Almost razor sharp with a very nice looking salad white ash. Draw is still very relaxed and the smoke output is phenomenal. Still medium full body. Flavors at this point, I'm getting a very intense dark chocolate, earthy cocoa, and there's a little bit of minerality coming through as well. 
and we're also getting notes of like an Earl Grey tea leaves. It's got a little bit of tannic qualities to it and um, little bits of dark chocolate sweetness linger on the finish. On the retrohale, it's a strange combination of florals, earth, and chocolate. It's a very dark chocolate and there's also some black pepper spice coming through on that retrohale as well. Um, I do like the way this one is feeling and smoking. A little too loose on the draw. Not terrible, but I just wish it was just a little bit more tighter with that draw. I know it's an odd complaint, and I've said it before, I think fairly recently, but it is something that is uh, a thing with me. I don't like a cigar that has too loose of a draw. And that could be unique to this particular cigar, not necessarily to the whole lineup, but this one right now has a little bit of a loose draw to me. Smoking just fine, and it's not smoking hot, so unless that happens, I'm not going to be too upset about it. All right, let this go until they get halfway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, we are about 40 minutes in, just about to the halfway point. We got a very good burn still, almost perfect, very, very slightly slanted on one end, but a very nice solid white ash. I don't know if I'm getting used to the draw or somehow by some weird trick of science, the draw has gotten a little bit tighter and now it's almost exactly where I want the draw resistance to be. Again, I don't know if that's just my imagination, I'm just getting used to the loose draw or not. All I know is I'm enjoying the draw very much. Still medium full bodied, got a little bit of an oil texture to the smoke texture now, it's detectable on the tongue and palate. Flavors have gotten very, very good. First and foremost, we've got this incredible mocha cappuccino flavor. It is very balanced, it is very delicious. We're getting notes of cedar and a beautiful oak barrel with some, some amounts of like a red wine tannin coming through. And it's not overly tannic, it's just enough to remind you of like a red wine mixing in with that oak barrel. It is excellent. There's a little bits of minerality still on the draw and very, very subtle, subtle notes of saltine cracker and a little bit of menthol. Very interesting bit of layering right there. Also getting some sweet cookie dough from time to time. Really enjoying that. And on the retrohale. Mm, that cedar is just beautiful on the retrohale. Just a aged musty cedar. Very fragrant. Liking that a lot. White pepper coming in behind that and some more minerality. It is a great retrohale, very smooth, and it's got a lot of great nuance. Uh, these are cigars that debuted a little over a year ago at the PCA 2021, and I have been wanting to review this for a while. I'm really glad I got to do it today. Have enjoyed this cigar very much so far at the halfway point. All right, let this go until they get towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, we are an hour and 45 minutes into the cigar. Uh, burn time was very, very long. Still a good burn. A slightly uneven ash, or slightly uneven burn line. Still a, a very solid white ash. Go ahead and ash it right here so we don't have any mishaps in this last segment. Flavors after that last segment, we were getting a great sweet almond, more cedar, the finish became more buttery, not unlike a nice shortbread cookie. It was warm, it was balanced, it was very, very tasty. Retrohale, we got a lot more cedar, more white pepper, some licorice notes, and some sweet almond. Into the final third, started getting a lot more of those tannic sort of flavors, uh, some bittersweet almond. We were getting cherry wood, little bits of licorice, and now some cranberry. Absolutely delicious. It was complex, very layered, and I love the changes that happened throughout the cigar. This is one of the better Rocky Patels I've had. I am not knocking Rocky Patel in any way. He has a lot of good blends, but there are certainly some that definitely stand out above the rest. Age Limited and Rare definitely comes to mind, and I think this one is kind of up there as well. Uh, this had a lot of flavor to offer. 
There was a lot of changes, lots of nuance. The layering and the balance of the cigar was superb. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you like fuller flavored cigars with a little bit of fullness to the texture, I think you're gonna dig this one a lot. Anybody who's a Rocky Patel fan will probably have already enjoyed this one. Uh, and I'm not the biggest Rocky Patel fan, but when good is good, I gotta call it out because this is a fantastic smoke. Thank you for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. If you're on YouTube, click the icon in the bottom right corner. If you're on Rumble, just find the subscribe button. It's up this way somewhere on my channel. And uh, follow me on Instagram, at Jonas Cigars. Follow me on social.cigarpublic.com. Links for these are all in the description below. And I hope you will tune in in the future for more reviews as we move forward. Thank you again. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Until next time, smoke a good one.